Uh, I don't know everyone here, so I'm Benjamin Wang. I'm a first-year fellow at the Pentagon under the Office of the Secretary of Defense Cost Assessment Program Evaluation. Uh, I've been supporting the assessment and implementation of the nuclear enterprise reviews. Uh, standard disclaimer that my boss said, uh, these are my comments and not his or anyone else's in the departments. So in 2013, the nuclear enterprise suffered from a whole host of scandals. Uh, you had Air Force officers in charge of launching nuclear missiles, cheating on their monthly proficiency exams. You had a general and admiral tasked with nuclear mission leadership, engaged in all sorts of sordid behaviors. Watch John Oliver's Last Week Tonight gives you the full rundown. It's bad. So in 2014, you had former Secretary Hagel, who bumped into his kitchen cabinet, hence the Band-Aid, um, ordering two reviews, an internal classified review and an external releasable review looking at our nuclear mission. Both of them concluded that without increased attention, we are going to see more frequent and greater problems with personnel, organization, and most importantly, culture with our nuclear weapons. And these reports pointed out some quick fixes like one wrench that was supposedly FedEx between three different Air Force bases. Technically, it wasn't a wrench. It's a heat shield counter bore tool. It was used less than once a year. But after the reviews, there was a big hoopla, so we got every base two of these things. And it's kind of a fun story. But we have larger issues to fix, like how do we improve the culture and morale of a mission that's been around from the Cold War? And with this review and many that came before it, you don't have a publicly available data set on GitHub that you can start analyzing and being able to sort of implement some uh, recommendations. And even if you work for the Secretary of Defense, you can't just burden people with um, data requests. And so you're really stuck with trying to leverage current mechanisms that might serve other purposes but can help you along the way. So the department has a mandated survey for sexual assault and sexual harassment um, that they issue every year. And these surveys ask a whole host of interesting questions, some of which pertain to me, such as trust in leaders, um, burnout, um, faith in the mission. And so actually there's too much information. And very quickly you run into the temptation that, well, more information, more detailed analysis is inherently better because all of our senior leaders want to have this really robust, well-appendixed report to make decisions, right? No. Um, so what you have end up doing is you really have to recognize that data, the same data means different things for different stakeholders. And what would work for a fellow is not going to work for an individual commander. It's not going to work for the deputy secretary. So you really have to wrestle with the data and try to come up with the story that gets presented empirically and with the evidence that really enables our uh, leaders to be aware and to make choices. And so I want to return back to the title of my talk about um, someone who lost a contact lens and was crawling around on the floor looking for it. Someone else comes and says, well, where did you lose the lens? Well, I lost it back over there. So why are you looking over here? Well, because this is where the only light is. And it's kind of a memorable message. And what it tells me is that before you go off and start, try to create something new, you really want to start with what you have and work with what you've got. Many of us work in uh, constrained environments where time and money are not free and they're not cheap. So before you go off and do something new, you might be able to uh, define success as being able to get more with what you have that's already in front of you. Um, thank you, and uh, thanks for a great year.